Premium Breed comes with a free, no obligation trial. In this video, we'll show you how to create an account, how to log in, how to create a pedigree, and how to generate a pedigree certificate. I'm creating an individual account here with a username and a password and putting through my email address. This has to be a valid email address as an activation link is set to you in the next step. If you don't receive an activation email, you can always check your spam or junk mail. Uh, in most cases though, this should come direct to your inbox. Once activated, you'll then be redirected to a login screen and you can put in your username and password. This will then take you to select the package of your free trial. I'm selecting the hobbyist package and have entered in my prefix, which is my breeder's prefix, which animal I'll be recording for, and the individual breed that I'm recording for. I'll also upload a logo as this is used Once you've completed that, hit Start Recording Pedigrees. This first form will allow you to build an entire pedigree in one hit. Start by building the animal itself, usually known as the child. And then fill in the siren dam. Some information will be pre-filled in order to help. We pre-fill the prefix in particular, uh, however, if it, the animal has come from a, a different source, then you can always change this. And lastly, I'll fill in the dam. Part of Premium Breed's logic is that it won't actually let you create an animal uh, as a sire or a dam, or connect them as a sire or a dam, if they are younger than the child itself. So now that I've created that pedigree, you can see all three animals have been created individually in the system. I'll just jump into this one here. Uh, this is the sire that I created. And I can go through to the progeny here. Uh, this is the child. And you can see that the sire and dam have been connected in. So the first pedigree was pretty quick to create. I'll now go through and add some information. I can actually upload photos now that the pedigree has been created. And now the photo is uploaded, it'll show both on the pedigree and the certificate, uh, and I can add some custom notes. If I want, I can also then navigate through uh, to the individual pedigree. Uh, I can also continue building the pedigree here if I choose. As you can see here, I've got a option for a 2017 animal uh, for this 2018 sire. Again, the logic is there so that you can only select animals that are in fact older than the child. So go through and select a few here. You can see here I don't have an option. Uh, that's because there is no sire older than this dam in the system. I could of course add a new sire and then connect him in. If I want to navigate through to one of the animals in the pedigree, I can just click on their icon like this. And I might add a photo for this one too. I don't have another photo, so I'll just add the same logo from before. And there we go. And now to generate a certificate, I'm going to want to navigate back to the child. can see that the photo has come through. Now I'll click Generate Certificate and have all this information prepared on a PDF. And you can print out this PDF, you can email it, or you can do whatever you need. Now you can see that there are space for three photos. I've only uploaded one. Now you can also see that the sires and the grand sires and dams all have logos. So there's your logo in the top left hand corner. And the Third generation doesn't have space for photos, but it's got all the registration information. There's also some additional detail on 
who registered the animal, when it was registered, uh, and the number of recorded progeny. Uh, and down the bottom, you've got some more information on who's currently registered the animal uh, when the certificate was issued. So that's uh, the main component of generating a certificate. There are also some other features, uh, such as searching through the animals. Uh, you've got the option to search uh, free text in description. You can type in uh, the name or the tag in part. Uh, you can type in the, the year of birth, and that will filter down. You can filter by gender uh, quite easily. And you can also filter in the sires and dams if you want to search in that way. It may be that the sire or the dam is not still in your possession, uh, could have been sold, uh, could have died. Uh, and so if that's the case, you might want to search for it in the historical section. You can see here we've got an animal that had been sold previously. So those are the, the main features of premium breed. Hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always email us uh, at support at premiumbreed.com. Uh, there is also a help section which has information uh, around getting started, how to create animals and memberships has additional detail as well for Breed Society users. And, and we're always adding to this, so if there's ever any questions you have, we'll keep filling in. Uh, and then there's creating a support request for logged in users. You can go in and you can create uh, a support request for us and we'll get back to you. Okay, thank you everyone. That's Premium Breed. I uh, hope you enjoy using it.